Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be adding text over top of our video. So we'll do text overlays. I guess we'll also learn how to do like intro text and outro text, all kinds of text effects within Olive. Now Olive is still uh, very early in development. So expect these text features and functionality to expand in the future. But for now, they're fairly basic, uh, but still very, uh, very functional as well. We'll click on our clip. I have a clip brought in here. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll click on this clip and that brings up our effects window or it populates the effects in our window here and we can come and uh, we can just kind of minimize this transform we can kind of shrink these down so we're not taking up so much space and then we hover over and we can add a video effect to this video clip and there's a an effect or a section called render and we have rich text solid text time code so we'll just click on text first. This is just basic text. And we see as soon as we do that, it adds this sample text over top of our video. And over here, we can, can change like the size of that text. We can click and change the color of that text. Um, so I might just make this text black. So let's come all the way down here. And this is sort of this is the intensity. So all the way to the top of this bar is, is blue. All the way to the bottom is black. Sometimes you'll select a color like white down here, but the intensity of the white is all the way set to black. So it'll still be black. So just be aware of this bar on the side is sort of maybe different than you might be used to. But I'm gonna go all the way to black on this and then I'll go to okay. So we have black text. We can't click and move it around in here. If we do that, we're gonna move the whole video because remember we have a transform um, effect in play right now. So I'm gonna set this back. In fact, I'll just right click and go to, in fact, I'm just gonna delete the transform. We don't need it in this one, so we'll just delete it altogether. But to move the text, there's a, a place over here we can move it, and that is this uh, position. So from the center, we can go left and right by just left clicking and holding on this position. This first one is the horizontal axis. The second one is the vertical axis. So we can go up and down. Um, and again, that's off of the center position. We can change this alignment if we want to and have it be aligned to the left. And then it's already over towards the left or we can change it to align to the right and we can change it to go to the bottom. So we have bottom right. So we can change all of these around and then we can still come and change the position. We can fine tune it based off of that reference point. So we'll put that there, maybe, or maybe we'll move it. Let's do the bottom uh, left just so, it, so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, we have black text, and now we have an outline color, which if we, there's, the box isn't selected, but if we select this box, it makes it kind of thicker and fatter. That's because it adds an outline. So we can add a different color outline. Maybe uh, we'll do this color blue, and again, we'll bring the color up so we see the blue, and hit OK. Then we have blue outline around our text. Oh, I guess the most important thing, we can change what the text is right here in this text field. So I can say, I can just call it flowers instead of text. So this just says flowers now. And if we're writing like an entire novel or something, we can click edit text and we can type in um, all kinds of stuff in here. And then that'll all appear uh, on here. And there's a, this reminds me, this brings up a good point. Some of it's cut off to the edge here. Can you see it doesn't get all the letters I typed? We can come over here and t uh, click word wrapping and that will, oh, it's supposed to wrap around. Did it do it? So with word wrapping selected, it's supposed to wrap this and it's supposed to appear down below here. That might be the very last letter. Yeah, it is. So if I were to type some more, uh, now I think it'll wrap that. Where's word wrapping? Oh, it's not doing word wrapping. Anyway, word wrapping is supposed to have it be so when it gets off the screen, it pushes it down to the next line. Um, we can add a shadow to these. So if we select shadow, right now there's a black shadow. We could add a, maybe we'll add a white shadow. So we have a white shadow added uh, and it is being covered up by the border right now. So if we have the distance, change the shadow distance, we can kind of change and see how that is. I really like all of how responsive it is. So we can make these changes really quickly in here and it's, it is really a uh, responsive um, it's a little bit laggy here because I'm shooting a video, but when I was doing it before, it was super quick and responsive. I really like that. Uh, and then the softness here is going to like be fading. Uh, so we can fade out sort of the uh, shadow a little bit. And the opacity of that shadow, we can bring that down too if we want. 
give it kind of an interesting effect. Oh, and then the angle, we can rotate the shadow around if we want based on a 360 degree uh, location. Mm, that's it, that's it for text. So we have some text here. If we hit play, it just plays the text and the video is playing in the background there. Uh, if we wanna get rid of this, we can, well, we can just get rid of the changes by scrolling up and we can just click this checkbox so they won't be displayed anymore. And we can add in rich text instead. Or we can get rid of it altogether by right clicking and going to delete. To do rich text, we just go to render. We can do it on the same clip and we'll go rich text. A little bit different. We still have a spot we can come type in some things here. On this one I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna show you it, it's a little bit more animated. Um, So we do all this stuff here and hit okay. So now we have some text on here. But what I wanna show you with the rich text, the only thing it really does right now is it has this cool auto scroll. So you can do up, for example, and that will auto scroll this text. Uh, we go back to the beginning of the clip, sort of like ending credits. So you don't have to do the keyframing yourself. You could accomplish this without the rich text by doing keyframing that we'll learn about maybe in the next video. But here, this is just like some automatic scrolling up. So that's a way you could create some ending credits. And you can also do scrolling like left to right. So you could do a, a, a looping, like if you had a disclaimer across the bottom, you know, looping across or, or giving some information or something. And you can go from the right and left as well. And then this rich text also lets us, um, looks like we can do some, some drop shadow as well here. I don't know if we want to do that. And then change the angle and the distance away from it kind of functions the same as, as that also. Uh, and then we could do location. Yeah, so there's this uh, position. We can change the location where it starts, at least vertical and horizontal. And um, this padding might not apply super much in this case, but the padding is like a box around this video. So if we did have like a whole book, if we like copied a bunch of paragraphs and pasted in here, we could adjust that padding. The padding is the where it is the outside so that if we have it like left justified, then the padding is gonna affect right here how far away it is from the side. Anyway, that's uh, basically text tools. This is overlaying it over top of his existing video. If you wanna just do an intro clip for now, the way I found to do it in Olive is uh, we also go to render and we go to solid and you render a solid color, whatever you want. Sometimes you'll wanna do like, if you just wanna do black or something. Uh, oh, I'm still on my rich text. I need to go to, let's get rid of that. So the solid color, we can change the color to a blue or a black or whatever we want. So if I just wanna do black, and then we'd place the text on top of this black solid. So we make the solid um, a certain color, make sure our opacity is 100%, and now we put our text on top of it. And since we already have some text, we could do this text, we just need to right click here and go to move up and that'll put the uh, text on top of this right here. So we should see the text come up over here on top of this. And so you could create an intro or we can get our text we had last time. So let's undo this rich text and apply this text and then lower this text. So we'll go move down. So the solid is appearing first and the text on top of that. It's a little bit confusing because it's sort of a, layers in the effects area and it's it functions the same as layers in the timeline area although everything's happening in one video clip so other video editors um, that i've used accomplish text by creating a separate clip and it gives you a little bit more control over it i wouldn't be surprised if all of moves to that in the future but this way that they're doing it is easier and simpler for um basic or you know beginner users to understand but it doesn't give you as much flexibility so that's working with text for the time being in olive in august 2019 expect a lot more functionality to be um, added in the future for this as well um, but uh, that's it leave your questions and comments below if you have any and have fun playing with the text tool and we'll see you in the next video